I thought we would lead off tonight's video with just a basic, simple logic fact. Anybody who has A thing and wants B thing clearly values B thing more than A thing. Now you can fill in whatever you want for A and B, but if I have A and I want B and I'm willing to give you A for it, then what does that say about the value of B versus A to me? It means I want, I want B. I have this thing A, I don't value it. You have this thing B, I do value it, and I want it. Now, we're going to cover this in detail over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel, and as promised, I just put, put up a video maybe an hour ago, screenshots from a gold dealer that tried to bribe me $5,000 a month to change my tune about gold and start doing two-minute videos inside these videos trying to get you to trade your A dollars for B gold. Now, what does that say about the value system? See, it would be incumbent upon me if I wanted what you have and in exchange, I will give you what I have it means I value what you have more than I value what I have. Isn't that always the case? Especially, you can't grow gold, can you? You can't go take gold seeds and go plant them out in the backyard and use the biblical way of getting rich, seed, time, and harvest. You can't do that. You can only dig up the shiny little rocks. And if I have a whole bunch of shiny little rocks and you have currency, it's my job to make you believe that my shiny little rocks are more valuable than your currency. And that's how they get rich. But once again, if you'd like to join us at Patreon, it is only one US dollar per month. That's at lowest allowable level. If it could be a quarter, I'd set it at a quarter. I believe the information is not only that important, but it's so important that I can't risk it being on Google servers. It's over on Vimeo servers. That's this logo here in the middle right. Vimeo, it's a private server that I have to pay for. And it's kept away from Google, YouTube's prying woke eyes. So over there, we can talk about things and we can take the gloves off, so to speak. $1 a month, even less if you sign up for an entire year. Fully refundable, first 90 days. We do have a second level over there now, by request. There's a $5 level. We've got one video up. We posted it up yesterday. And there'll be regular content there. It won't be training content, but it'll be information content. So those of you that have signed up at that level, especially the annualized, thank you very, very, very much. You are absolutely making a huge, huge difference in my life. I wish I had better, more flowery language to thank you in, but trust me, it's uh, more than I ever expected. God bless every single one of you. And once again, I'll use the analogy before we start the video here. It's like going up to a candy machine where everything's a dollar. Put in your dollar. Get what you want out of the candy machine. Sample it. Sample a whole bunch of different things. Candy machines don't let you do that, do they? You got to pick one thing, transaction over, right? Not at Patreon. You pay your dollar. You've got 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, up to $3. Sample everything over there. If it's not for you, every dime you spent comes right back at you. No risk. First 90 days. So, would love to have you over there. But we have a lot to talk about today. The big one. And I've been waiting for this one. Proud Boys Terrio, and there's a specific personal reason I've been waiting for this. Proud Boys Terrio, guilty of January 6th seditious conspiracy. Now, I've been watching all the right-wing sites and like, no, he's not. No, he's not. They're just, they're just horrible people and it's completely unfair. Really? Is it? Is it a... Con because there was another group of people that was also convicted of this by the king. Wouldn't you want that to be the case? That would put them in very good company. Every single one of the founding fathers, according to the king at the time, were traitors and treasoners, and they needed to be taken out and hung and shot, and they weren't even worthy of uh, being treated like prisoners of war. They were, in fact, they cover that in the... Who remembers the scene in The Patriot? With... Uh, Colonel Tavington, with, uh, uh, Tavington and, um, of course, Benjamin Martin 
and the the uh, Lord, whatever his name was, they had captured a bunch of rebels. He said, well, I have no prisoners of war. I have a bunch of criminals under sentence of death. And that's how they got, of, got out of treating them like they were actually combatants in war. Lord, Lord Cornwallis, that's who it was. But some people have said, Florida Maquis, I have noticed something. Your channel logo is a lot like the Proud Boys logo. Is that some kind of a coincidence or not? Well, my channel, this logo, predates the Proud Boys. Number one, I don't know if they stole it from me or not, but this is my channel logo. This is the Proud Boys logo. They had nothing to do with each other. Because you would then have to lump in the Texas National Guard, the Nevada National Guard, the Texas Military Department, and every single command sergeant major in the United States Army. All my Army guys out there, all my military guys out there, even your Marine Corps guys. What do you do if you see three up, three down, a wreath and a star walking your way? You walk the other way, don't you? If you don't have the uh, ability to, your day is about to get a very, very interesting change into it if you are not completely squared away. Command Sergeant Majors do not play when it comes to uniform violations, being out of shape, or not being where you're supposed to be, customs and courtesies, you name it. You see, you see three up, three down, wreath and star coming, it's about to get interesting. E9, Command Sergeant Major in the Army, and I do believe, if I am not mistaken, it is the same rank in the Marine Corps. If there's any Marines out there, you can correct me on this. But let's, let's look at this. Wreath and star logo. Look at all the different things a wreath and star logo could possibly mean. Soviet star, oh, we must be all communists. Communist star wreath logo. Wreath and star. I mean, it... It's, it was one time used as a symbol that meant utopia. And there are a thousand different places that use this. So, I mean, there's a red star with a couple gold wreaths. There have been, let's see, emergency medical services. It was just a generic logo way back in 2017. When I first started using it just a very generic logo that I thought, well, will be kind of military-ish looking since I was former Army. A lot of people think I was former Navy because of all the issue with the Fitzgerald McCain. But anyway, just to clear all that out of the water, it has nothing to do with anything. Now, there is a very important piece of information that we need to talk about. I've used this little uh, animation before about when the lights go out. What's going to happen? What are you going to do? What's your plan A, plan B, plan C? A lot of the advice I've given, some people have appreciated, some people have said, wow, that seems way off. It doesn't sound like what I've been told up until this point. What I've been told up to this point is having 30, 40, 50 guns and 2 million rounds of ammunition, that's the solution to everything. Of course, that's what you want when you have a toolbox, right? You want 50 hammers and no other tools because every single problem is a nail. And that's, unfortunately, what's going on. It's another video for another day. But when you see all of the um, mass events going on right now, that's what we're seeing. But there is another problem. Another problem that I think is more likely to cause a cascade collapse around the world, even more so than the banks. It's something they cannot control. How many of you have heard of something called Kessler syndrome. Now, basically, to put it in a nutshell, a somewhat of a comedic nutshell, when a shooting gallery and a pinball machine love each other very much, and they get together, and they want to start a family, this is basically what's going on. There's so much garbage and so much crap floating around in orbit right now, moving at such high rates of speed they can't keep track of it all. And what they're basically afraid of doing, of this, this happening, is this. See, I'll just bring this up and just read it. Possible effect that if one satellite 
produces debris that hits another satellite, it'll create a chain reaction that will obliterate every orbiting object in the low Earth orbit, and thus creating a thick cloud of white dots traveling at 10 times the speed of any bullet on Earth. Think about that for a minute. Think about the most powerful 50 caliber weapon that you, that you know of. Now take that and multiply the muzzle velocity times 10. And then take that number and multiply it by 200 million in just random tra trajectories all around the Earth. One of these, you mark my words, how is it going to cause the collapse? Well, it's simple. It's going gonna, it's gonna to leach its way, this Kessler syndrome, into the GPS system. And it's going to start knocking out GPS satellites, large swaths of them, and Camo satellites. This is another illustration. And once that happens, every single ship at sea will lose guidance. Every single one. This is an animation of every cargo ship out there just around the, uh, the lower 48. This is that same animation. Global. Think of all of a sudden, every single one of these vessels losing GPS navigation simultaneously. Think of all of the aircraft in the skies. This is basically 24 hours condensed into four seconds of air traffic, air traffic um, being controlled over the United States, Europe, Asia, all of a sudden just gone. See, it's kind of strange. Something very, very like this, uh, very much like this, is what the premise of the series we've talked about before, Revolution is. Now, they have a little bit different... They don't talk about it with satellites, but they talk about just the power going out and it not being able to be brought back up. We lose communications. We lose GPS. It's not going to matter whether you have a generator or not. The supply chains are going to be irreparably damaged to the point of no return. There will be no standing them back up. It's just, it's just the case. Because they were only down for a matter of weeks in 2020. And even now, years later, we're still feeling it. They go down for a few months and there'll be no way to put new satellites up because of that giant cloud of bullets. There was a movie called Gravity back in 2013, I want to say. 2013, that kind of talked about this a little bit. Defiance, the series, talks about this um, one of the, this is the series defiance, not, uh, the city. One of the things that they're going through is randomly these large vessels start careening out of orbit and crashing. And then it's a race to go scavenge them, but not to, uh, bring up a, an irrelevant topic. But in that they talk about survival in a way that I remember watching at the time and asking myself, how is this not on pay-per-view? Because they talk about survival in very, very gritty terms. It just goes to show how much the, the woke crowd has destroyed real entertainment. In this particular case, there's this place called, let's see, go back here, called the Need Want. It's a, a meeting place. It's a pawn shop. It's a uh, brothel. It's a bar. It's a restaurant. It's basically this, this one-stop shop, and that's why they call it the Need Want. And it's basically all financed off of prostitution run by this character. This character disappears. And I thought, okay, well, they're getting rid of the prostitution angle. Her sister, the mayor of the town, loses uh, the, the election for mayor. And when she disappears, decides, well, I guess I'm just going to be a prostitute now, too. This is, it was just... Uh, absolutely crazy and to leave with this the serious colony that we've talked about um touches on that a little bit as well but there's a part of colony that i think would would bother a lot of uh, hardcore preppers especially the, the gun types because it shows that while guns are a good tool to have available 
they can be rendered useless and a giant pain in the ass at times. Because there are times that characters are spared because they're not armed. I mean, they have arms, but they don't have them and are not brandishing them at the time. And it allows them to escape and move and operate in ways that they wouldn't normally be able to. And I think that might be very well the case, too. You might sometimes make yourself a target if you're walking around. If everybody in your group is walking around with an open sidearm, a weapon in their hand, maybe another weapon over their back. At, everybody's got to sleep sometime, right? Everybody's got to eat sometime. Everybody's got to follow the call of nature sometime, right? It's just a matter of, of when. So, anyway, it's just an aspect of survival that you can take a little bit from Colony, you can take a little bit from Defiance, a little bit from Revolution, all these stories, and you can kind of piece together a plan. But if, if anything's going to happen like this, 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 would be, this would be my bet. This is a, a video, Are We Too Late to Avoid Kessler Syndrome? Um, just an idea of how big that cloud is. It's just unreal. And this was years ago. This was 2019. So I'll leave it there. But once again, I'll say this one last time. If I have something and you have something, if what I have I value more, I'm keeping it. If I value what you have more, I'm going to figure out a way to get you to value more what I have so you trade. That's just the game. And that's what the gold dealers are doing, using nostalgia. They want your dollars. They don't value their gold. But they need to make you believe, they need to make you believe that their gold is more valuable than your dollars. So they cook up a whole bunch of lies. And they offer guys like me five grand a month to go try to make you believe that. And like I said, if you want to see the receipts, you want to see the receipts, go over to Patreon. It'll cost you a buck. Just to make the point, cost you a dollar to go see. And the whole conversation I show right on the screen. So would love to have you there. God bless. Thank you once again, everyone who's joined us. It's absolutely an amazing thing. It's making a huge, huge difference. Have a great rest of your week. Like, share, subscribe. You guys are so appreciated and valued. I just can't put it into words. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.